Hello, my YouTube gang. My name is Cyprian Msangi. Uh, having done a YouTube uh, series named uh, Laravel VX Showcase, um, I have received very many requests on uh, doing a video on how to integrate Laravel and VX template. So today's video, I'm going to show you how to integrate the two. And uh, as you can see on my screen, I have uh, a fresh Laravel installation. Uh, don't worry how it looks. It looks ugly as per now because I have not run the npm run dev This is because I, I, I wanted to show you as it is like this so that after installing uh, Laravel uh, after installing VWXE, uh The whole platform is going to change so having your fresh Laravel installation like I have in my uh, in my in my Visual Studio code I want you to navigate to the to the public folder which is in the main root and in the public folder this is where we are going to paste our our vwxy folder so uh, having you are having uh, downloaded your theme forest that is from vwxy I want you to head to the html version then uh, inside html template you will find uh, a folder called app assets so I want you to copy that file and uh, go to the local disk C or rather where you have your project, your Laravel project. Mine is in ZAMP, htdocs, then it is in uh, this file called YouTube. Then inside the public file, that is where I want you to paste that file. So you paste that file there. Good. So mine has finished. So you can close that file file folder and then as you can see in the in the in the in the public folder in the visual studio code you can see that file inside there so the next thing that uh, you're supposed to do is go inside the layouts folder which is under the resources views then layouts then this app.plate.php i want you to create another file uh, First of all, rename this file. You can rename this file and call it maybe app2, like that. Then you create a new file and call it app.blade.php, like that. After creating that file, now we go inside this uh, VWXC theme. And uh, where is it? This one. And inside here, you open the HTML template, and then you click this index.html. So I'm going to choose the vertical collapsed menu. So you can do a view page source, then copy all that code then you paste it in the app.blade.php file that we have created paste it there and save okay so you can minimize the header like this then we have the main menu you can minimize it like that then we have now the content which is at the middle you can minimize it like that then we have the footer and you have this one here so i want you to create uh, pages for each one of these so that we will include them inside uh, this file so uh, or rather we can just leave them like that for now then we shall do that later so in the in the main content I want you to cut this content like that then you create inside the layouts you can create a new file and you can call it body dot blade dot php like that so inside the body you paste all that that you have copied from the app dot blade dot php like that save your file then uh, we have this app to come here and copy this 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 
small code which is called a uh, slot come and paste it here inside uh, where you cut that content and paste it there save then inside uh, the body.blade.php we have to copy there is a small code yes dashboard you can copy that and uh, inside the body.blade.php you can minimize that like that then at the top you can paste that and at the bottom also sorry copy that and paste it at the bottom then don't forget to put this slash over here then we can push this one one step like that and save so now uh, if we refresh our home page it's going to have a new look and feel you see but now we have a problem here yeah it's not that well arranged so i'm going to go back here and uh, inside the uh, welcome.blade.php not welcome but uh, dashboard we are going to do away with this file we are going to delete it uh, you can cut this code over here and go and paste it inside the uh, dashboard.blade.php like that sorry for that uh, mistake then go to your dashboard and refresh and it's, as you can see we have our vuxc dashboard loaded very well now uh, i want to show you something real quick on how to having the logout work and maybe the name so you go over to this file uh, navigation.blade.php and you can copy this file uh, that's that has the username copy that go to your app.blade.php and on the header I'll search uh, John Doe like that so you can paste that code here then also search logout the logout button like this the logout button and there we have it so this is where we are going to put this code over here so that it will enable us to log out and log in out user where is it this is where we have the form so i'll copy this form and i'll paste it here but we need to make some changes so that it will work fine uh, I think we will do away with the we will put this link together with the icon inside the form yes I will cut it out paste it inside the form like that cut this and uh, I will copy this whole uh, href up to this point I will cut it out and paste it inside here in our link that was gen initially inside the uh, vuxy then I will uh, cut also this one and put it here okay like that then I'll also cut this and put it down here so that it will close our link and then I will close this out I will delete that out save 
then I will refresh and see what's going to happen. So now we have the logged in user and we have the logout button like that. Yeah, so you can log in. Maybe in the next video I'll show you how to fix this video and uh, how to fix the login page. And now we have the login and we can now log out. So thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If it has helped you, you can share and uh, thank you so much.